everyone I wanted to share with you another layout I made using the May Hip Kit Club Kit and um, I'm using these lovely florals that I fussy cut from a patterned paper by the stamp market um, and I love this background paper um, so I decided to stitch with white stitching between each of the squares kind of in a grid um, the design team over at, at HipKit have done some beautiful things um, with that paper. Um, so I decided to make kind of a large floral um, mat area um, in the bottom left hand corner to nestle my two photos in. The photos are um, a couple of Snapchat photos um, from a holiday a few years ago in Croatia. Um, I can't believe I've been using Snapchat filters that long. It doesn't, doesn't seem that long since it was something we started doing. Um, so I'm just layering the flowers up. So in my usual style where I add some glue to one side and then pop up kind of the outer edges of the floral where the leaves are um, using foam squares. So this smaller one I want to be raised up against the two flat, flatter middles so I've used uh, 3D foam on all that um, and then I'm going to nestle my photos in amongst the flowers um, and I think that's quite nice because it blends in with the green at the background. I've got a couple of um, die cuts um, that I've had in my stash for ages, I'm not sure where they came from, um, I cut them on my silhouette. A while ago and um, so I just wanted to add some pops of white in amongst those uh, florals just peeking out and um, to add a bit of different tone to the layout Um I did play around with adding more flower flowers um, but you'll see that I don't I just stick with what I've got and um, so I map my photos on a piece of this black polka dot um, paper from the Fifth and Monaco collection by Pink Paisley. So I tend to map my photos um, and often they have a white border anyway but these ones haven't. Um, and these have been sat on my desk waiting to be scrapped for a while so it's nice to get them on a layout. And whilst I'm loving scrapping all about what's happening at the moment and being at home and things, it's uh, nice to look back at happy memories of holidays and do something a bit more light-hearted, shall we say. So if I remember rightly on this filter, every time you lifted your eyebrows, your dog's ears lifted, so that was uh, the amusing part of it. So I'm adding some of this Vicky Booting Let's Wander ephemera. Um, it's quite large ephemera um, and a lot of it is travel themed but there's these beautiful butterflies um, in it that work really well with the flowers. Um, and I've also got this Fifth and Monaco sticker sheet. So I'm just going to add in some of the phrases um, that kind of fit with the layout. Here I am trying to fit in some more flowers, um, but I think in the end I'll just stick with what I've already got stuck down. It's actually quite a simple layout in the end, um, but quite effective with the big bold florals. Um, and with my butterflies I always put glue in the centre and then I pop the wings up on foam to add dimension and kind of give them the appearance of being real. I'm just adding those phrase stickers now um, again on 3D foam just to add dimension and, and make them more um, to make them stand out against the background. So 
I'm just adding a few extra stickers. So I've got this one that says remember um, and then I come in with my title. I believe using the large like holographic alphas that are in the kit this month. And the great for creating a, a bold title. Oh no, I'm adding a few more uh, bits by the looks of it. Or trying to fit in uh, some more florals. So I tried to use this pink um, set of um, FM, uh, words, but the, the colour scheme didn't really go with the pink, um, so that's why I switched to the holographic one. Um, and I just go with a simple sun fun title, because there's not much to say um, about the photos, it's, they're just fun pictures. And then we've got these. Um, beautiful little gems that are from the fifth and monaco collection um, and i'm not usually one for using black um but i really like how they stand out um in amongst all the color i think it helps with having like the black leaves around everywhere so that's my layout near enough done um Oh, I got a bit crazy with the uh, gems. I didn't realise I'd added quite so many. Then I'm just going to add my journal into the bottom. Um, I've started journaling on all my layouts now. Um, I didn't used to. I used to just write where they were or something. And now I'm just adding some gold splashes um, using my Liquitex acrylic ink. And that is my layout completed. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you want to see more, then please subscribe um, or head over to my Instagram. Um, I'm Terry underscore Scraps. Uh, but thanks for joining me today.